Well, would you look at that? That's Miss Jellybean. My kitty. And she decided to fall asleep right behind my lovely 1936 Erica Model M. And, uh, I'm gonna try to not wake her. Not really. Try to not whack her in the face with my typewriter. So the Erica Model M, this is one of the coolest machines ever manufactured, in my opinion. This thing has features like you would not believe. Uh, especially not believe just to look at it. Um, it's very, very similar in structure to the Model 5, the Model whatever, all the others. Because it's got the same basic frame. But they've built a whole lot onto the back of the, the machine and a little bit onto the carriage. And it's got some extra guts. You know, there's... Several crazy things going on under the hood that uh, make me shiver. I love it. Um, this thing has all new rubber on it. Replaced the feed rollers, replaced the rubber on the platen, and recently from Mr. Steve Dade, just got some new feet. And he did an amazingly excellent job on these. They fit in there super snug. They slip onto the posts on the case really easy, and they just grip like bulldogs. I mean, when you put this thing down on a table, it ain't going anywhere unless you tell it to. And even then, it only goes grudgingly, right? Um, everything works. Uh, uh, carriage locked right there. Uh, tabulator, I need to set some tab stops. And uh, let's see. Make sure all of them are clear. Just to show you how the tab works, right? Because you got these crazy little buttons down here. Ha ha ha. What do they do? What do they do? What do they do? Nobody knows. Not true. You're about to. So, there's our margin. Which, first off, let's start with the margins. How do you set the margins on this thing? Well, it's that little R button right there. And this is a key set margin. So, you put it wherever the current margin is. You hold down that button. You move the carriage to wherever you want the margin to be. Now it's right there. Let's grab that right-hand margin. So, there are my margins in the middle. Oh, I guess I was... Out of frame on that. So they push the button. <laughs> Super easy. That's how you set your margins. So now we're set to 10. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're going to hit set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And we're at the margin again. So those are our tab sets. All right. Now you may have noticed that I got across the entire length of the platen pretty quickly. That's because I have a double spacing lever. Notice how far that carriage is moving every time. It's so crazy. It's for emphasis while typing, right? Right. This other button right down here is your uh, tab clear. There's also an all clear lever right here. Clear everything at once. You got a carriage lock, uh, carriage release rather, um, paper release right there, which works extremely well. Get a look at those feed rollers on there. Ooh. These are the original feed roll or uh, paper bale rollers. I didn't change those out and I got a couple of flat spots on them but it's got that crazy brownish rubber on there and I hate to mess with them because they look so neat. That's part of what I like about these Erica's. Uh, the other side you have your index release right there. Sweet. This is your platen release right there. You have your line space indicator. And your carriage lock. This is a carriage shifted machine, but it's extremely light on the fingers. Um, similar to other Erica's that I've had, this thing is just smooth as butter. Um, they've got a really nice levered key design, key arm design rather, that you can kind of see there. Whoa, I'm hitting the tab button. Schnarf. I guess you really can't see it. You can see it up close and in person if you buy the dadgum thing or get one of your own. Ha ha ha. Um, keeps the key tops level parallel to the table the whole throughout the whole stroke. Makes for a really, really smooth typing experience. And speaking of typing, let's do a little type test. Still haven't woke that cat up. Man. 
So, Erica, Model M, serial number 585540 slash M, circa 1936. So much history. And, uh, I'm feeding my papier in there. Paper grips really, really well. Those feed rollers do an excellent job. They're adjusted, so you can actually adjust your paper. Um, got the proper tension on them and everything. That platen that JJ Short did is just wonderful. Uh, it's not too hard, not too soft, and grips extremely well. Um, did wonders for the sound of this machine. It was really, really loud when I first got it, and uh, there's still a little bit of clatter from the uh, the felt piece that sits underneath there but again i hate to change that out because it still functions and i don't necessarily want to be the one to do something that's going to so you know try, cause such a a large change aesthetically um but never know i'm gonna probably do it on my my five first and see how it works before i decide to do it on this one uh, i've got a german keyboard on here court Z. all right we got a Crazy little Z there. We've also got some other interesting characters on here that, you know, things are things are in strange places, and some things are there that ought to be there, or, and or rather that ought not be there, and some things are there that aren't there that you thought would be. Like where the hell's my dollar sign? You ain't got a dollar sign on this one, buddy. Nope, you just don't. You do have an E with an accent above it. You do have that crazy guy above the nine, which I think is some legal doodad. Uh, uh, you have a circumflex with an exante grave, uh, and this is on an advanceless key, a, uh, a dead key, so that you can, you know, type a vowel, or rather, you hit this, and then you type the vowel you want underneath it, and then it'll advance. Um, got the little B right there, and uh, your umlaut, umlaut, umlaut for your U, O, and A. But uh, let's give her a whirl here, and we're gonna go on the. Single, single spacing, regular spacing rather, not doubled. The quick brown box jumps over the lazy dog. Super crisp, clear print. I mean, this thing types like a dream. Go for the red setting and on the doubled in there. I'm going to move that margin all the way out and see if I can see how much of the quick brown fox I can squish onto one page. Because with that double spacing, you can't get the whole thing. Ha! The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy D. So there you go, uh, Erica Model M, little color selector there. One of the slickest machines ever made with its lovely little fold down paper rest. And snazzy black paint and Bakelite lid, which this lid looks black, right? Until you get just the right light on there. And you can see that it's green. You can tell it is green in the sunlight. It's really crazy dark green. Um, paint's in really nice shape. Somebody put little dabs of black paint on some of the chips and whatnot, but did an okay job. So I don't mind. I certainly haven't gone back and changed it. It's got nice thick felt everywhere inside. And, uh. <laughs> One of these days I'll find me one with an English keyboard. And then I might sell every other machine in my collection. Food for thought. Food for thought. There you go. 1936 Model M. And Miss Jellybean.